Hi, everyone. Uh, given the amount of scam collections that we've seen popping up over the past few weeks on OpenSea, uh, we at our blocks wanted to put together a simple guide uh, and a simple test for checking the authenticity of uh, an NFT from uh, an art blocks collection before you're purchasing it. So what we've seen, especially with some popular curated drops, is that immediately after the drop sells out, uh, a lot of the tokens on OpenSea won't show up with the full rendering of the artwork. And instead, we'll have typically some sort of black screen with a random assortment of numbers and letters, some alphanumeric string here, instead of um, the accurate collection title and, and token name. And this is just due to uh, the rendering process that takes place between our blocks and OpenSea. And so we know it can be somewhat confusing to figure out which collections are authentic, um, especially in that, that rush on secondary markets right after a drop sells out. So there's a, there's a really simple way to be able to uh, validate a collection. So what you'll see here is that uh, this collection, Chromy Squiggle by Snowfro, um, you see the, the verified collection check. Uh, this takes a little bit of time to um, show up on OpenSea. And what we've seen people start to do, like in this fake collection, is put the check mark in the featured photo um, to show, you know, to try to trick you. They also have the Rblox header to try to trick you into thinking that this is a, a validated um, collection. So the way that you can quickly tell with any token, um, even when it's not yet rendered on OpenSea, is using the contract address um, in the appropriate part of the token URL. So Artblocks uses two contract addresses. Um, there's this one, which ends in AC3A. And that's the contract address for Chromie Squiggle, Genesis, and Construction Token. And then there's this one that ends in D270, which is the contract address for all other art blocks projects. So when you're checking to see the authenticity of a token, you can look at this section of the token URL to try to verify if this contract address is one of those two authentic ones. And you can see with this authentic Chromie Squiggle, the last four digits are indeed AC3A and the contract address part of this URL matches with the verified one here. Uh, similarly, with a newer collection, in this case, Edifice, um, you can see, if you open up one of the tokens, that that second contract address here ending in D270 matches this one here, D270. If these contract addresses aren't in that part of the URL, so opensea.io backslash assets backslash contract address, um, you can be 100% certain that that token is a scam. So a quick example, here's uh, a collection that is inauthentic, but they've done the art blocks header and the featured photo to mimic the regular squiggles. But if you open this up, you can see we have backslash assets, black backslash Matic, and then a long alphanumeric string that doesn't uh, come close to matching one of these two um, contract addresses. Similarly, with a fake collection edifice here, uh, a little more convincing because they have the blue check. There's a floor price that could be realistic, um, and they've even mimicked the, the generative movement of the edifice. Um, but again, you see in the URL, backslash assets, backslash Matic, and then this long alphanumeric string for that Matic contract that does not correspond to this one. Um, another quick check is that we never do drops on Matic. Uh, currently all of our art blocks drops are on the Ethereum chains. And so if there's something that's on Matic, you can be certain that that's also a scam. So while you're purchasing on secondary, we strongly recommend that you wait until everything has rendered uh, just to be sure that you're purchasing the right thing. But even if there's you know, a black 
uh, token or the, the metadata hasn't loaded yet um, while kind of on that secondary surge right after a drop, you can use this token address um, in the URL method to quickly verify the validity of the piece that you're looking to, to purchase. So we would suggest uh, bookmarking these and we are making note of these somewhere um, and we'll publish the, the full addresses as well in a, in a written format so you can have easy access to it. But before purchasing, this is just a, a quick way to ensure that you're getting a piece from the right collection and aren't accidentally purchasing something that uh, comes from a, a fake, inauthentic collection. Hopefully that's helpful and feel free to reach out to our mod team at any time if you have questions or concerns about uh, a collection on OpenSea.